If you're in the service department, one of the things that you might be using a lot are job templates. And one of the things I want to kind of show you in the major unit side uh, when we're doing sales is we can also take advantage of some of those templates. And we may need to get you know someone in service to help create the thing so that they've got the right prices and everything's on there. But, but we can actually use those when we're creating deals to speed up the process. So what the what I want to show you is if I edit this unit, so we're going to go in here and edit the unit, and we're going to scroll down. You see some of these uh, line items have a plus sign beside them. And so if I, for example, Lojack, if I click the plus sign, it'll open up a, a job for that particular thing, and then I can come in. So like if I go to, to paint or interior protection, nothing's been created for it. So, um, But they're, they're basically allowing me to open templates that I can access directly from the deal to speed up the, the process of creating some of these setup jobs and PDI and those kind of things. So the question is how do we actually set that stuff up? So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to settings and we're going to go to invoicing and we're going to go to job templates. Now, right now we've already created one here for F and I, so I'm just going to come in and select the F and I jobs and it'll show, for example, here's install Lojack. Um, and so basically what we do is we, and here I'm just going to edit it, but um, it, you can see here that it changes itself to an F and I type job. So when we're creating the templates for service, everything is set up as a regular job. But anything for internal, we have to specify whether it's set up, repair, install, PDI, or F and I. And based on those settings, it causes the information to show up in our control panel on the unit. So as an example, if we wanted to create a, a new job here, um, what we can do is I'm just going to, let's see, I'm going to pick something and reset everything. So right now you'll notice that nothing's set up. This is a brand new job right here on the right. And so I'm going to go ahead and create a new F&I job. And we're going to go ahead and tell it what type of F&I. So let's say that this is an, a paint protection, for example who the provider of that is, if there is one. So we'll just pick somebody and we'll say paint. And we'll come down here and we'll say that the, the paint protection takes uh, two hours. Um, and you can and you can even set this thing up to, to measure how much material you're going to need if you wanted to do that. But um, what labor rate we want to actually have. So I don't know what we're in store one so I'll just set this for store one so we'll say labor rate and we'll say is seventy dollars an hour and so what we're doing here is we're actually filling in the details of what the shop is going to charge the sales department to do this job and that's that's really what this is all about it's not this is not going to get billed to the customer it's going to get billed to the, the sales department so once we get everything in here, we'll just go ahead and hit add job template. And so now we could come down here and add parts to this thing as well if we needed to add materials or parts to the job. But right now what I want to do is come back over here to the, the invoice and we're just going to edit the unit again. We're going to come down here to where we had our paint protection and click the plus sign. And now you notice that we actually have paint protection and paint, which is paints the one we just created. So to create an internal ticket based on that particular job, we're just going to tell it to add the job. And you'll notice now that it has added it. It's got $140 that it's going to cost. Let's say we charge $250 to the customer. And we'll go ahead and save that. And if we look on the deal, we're on the actual deal that we're selling the unit on. And if we open the information on the unit, you'll see here we have a new internal ticket linked to this deal. Now, we have not actually created the ticket for the shop to go do anything. In other words, they don't know this is here. It's currently tagged as an estimate. But to get them to actually go do it, we just click the Create Internal RO up here at the top. That creates the RO. The shop gets notice, and then they start working on it. And when they complete it, it'll end up showing up just like these other two that are already completed um, when we did them uh, earlier.